Hey there, it's Brianna with Wellness Stock Shop and I am here to show you how to use Canva to add any image to a mock-up. So here we have some techie mock-ups. We've got iPads and I've also included an iPhone. So I'm gonna teach you my step-by-step -step process for how I take any image and I add it to the screen. So you might have already seen all the mock-ups that we have available inside Wellness Stock Shop and it's a really savvy way to display your offering, your recipe, your ebook, um, your Instagram feed, your website. There's so many things that you can showcase in a really eye-catching and savvy way using these mock-ups. So I like to start by actually creating another template that will be actually the size of our screen. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use that template to size down the image that we'll be adding to this screen. So for instance, if I wanna put this image into this screen and I try to size it down, you're gonna notice that it is not quite the right size. So it's gonna look a little bit wonky if I try to actually fit it in there. So I've got to either crop it or I've got to pre-size it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how I pre-size these images. So actually I've created a little design here to show you the different screen sizes. So for an iPad screen size, for the purpose of this design, we're going to use 1024 by 1366. So I'll go to Canva, use custom dimensions and do 1024 by... So go ahead and design that. So now that I have that, I'm actually going to go ahead and choose the image that I want to put inside the screen, which is this tutorial Pinterest image, just like that. So now I have that and I'm just going to go ahead and download it, save it to my computer. And then I'm going to load it back into Canva. Okay, so here I am back in my mock-up area and I've already loaded in the image that we just resized. I did it, I put it on pause just to save time for this video. Um, and so now it should be the correct size. So I'm just going to go ahead and size it down and I'm going to rotate it around until it fits within this screen. So you just have to do a little bit of finessing. Sometimes um, it won't let you do small adjustments when you're actually turning the image like this. So I like to hold down the shift key and it allows me to do um, fine tune adjustments. And you just stretch it out however looks good. And that looks pretty darn good to me. So. And you can finesse it as much as you want to get as perfect as you want. Um, but overall, that is the idea of how we will actually add photos or any image to these screens. So um, again, I want to show you the size of these screens. So for the purpose of these designs, these are the different dimensions that we'll be using. The iPad screen is 1024 by 1366 pixels and the iPhone screen is 750 by 1334 pixels. So you can continue watching this or you can go ahead and start creating your own designs if you already have the gist. But I'm going to go through a couple more of these for you to make sure you really get it and to show you a second thing that you can do to adjust these images. So here we are on this next mock-up and this is an ebook that I created for um, the students of Formula Botanica and is a skin care school over in England. I made them this beautiful little branding workbook. So I'm just gonna go ahead and size this down and see how it fits the screen because it's pretty close to the same size of an iPad screen. So I could just leave it just like this or if I wanted to get really particular, um, you can see that this is about, let's see, 
that's about the right height and if that's the right height then the width is not actually quite wide enough so if I want to crop this so that it's the right width here then it's gonna be a little bit too long. So what I would wanna do if I was really getting picky about this is I would want to actually shave off just a little bit off of the top of this. So I can actually double click here and it brings up this cropping tool. So if I don't feel like I really need to go in and create another template and resize it there, I can use this cropping tool and kind of eye it like maybe to there, make sure it's the right width, and then just hit enter, and there it looks pretty good. Let's just make sure that I've got it over the sides here. Maybe I will adjust this just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. So it's just a matter of just playing with this to get it exactly how you want it. And again, it would be so much more perfect if you could do this in Photoshop because you can just select the screen and just drop your image right in there. Um, and it just forms to the area that selected the screen. Um, but in Canva, you can't. So you've just got to keep playing with it and eyeing it. And I think that looks pretty good. So I also want to show you what you can do for your um, Instagram feed. So for an Instagram feed, again, I would go up here. I want to actually create a template that is going to fit within the iPhone screen so that I can make it perfectly adjusted. So I'm going to go and create a new um, canvas here, a new dimension size, and it's going to be 750 by 1334 and go ahead and design that. So that will have the exact right size. Go to my uploads, bring in the screenshot that I took earlier of my Instagram feed and just fit it however I like. Crop it however I like. I wanna crop off a little bit of the bottom and I wanna keep that stuff at the top so it looks pretty realistic. So that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, download it and then I'll re-upload it. I'm gonna put this on pause while I do it. Okay, so I've got this already loaded in here. So here is the image that I cropped. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and size it to my iPhone screen. So again, you can do some finessing here to make sure it looks perfect for you. Sometimes it takes a little bit of extra than others, but in general, that looks pretty good, right? So there you have it. That's a great way to display your Instagram feed, get people to come over and follow you. And now I have this horizontal screen because if you want to actually um, showcase, for instance, your a screenshot of your website or your blog, this is a really great format to do it in. So what I will do is actually create a template, um, a horizontal template for this iPad screen. So we're going to go again over to our Canva area. We're going to use custom dimensions here. And we are going to do 1366 by 1024 and go ahead and design this. So I have actually gone and taken a screenshot of my website and I want to show you how I did that just in case you need to figure that out as well. So here we are on Wellness Stock Shop and what I do is I have a Mac. So I do Command Shift 4. I hold all of those down, all three buttons at the same time. And that creates this little, you can see this little cross mark. And then when you want to take a screenshot, you just start in whatever corner, wherever you want, hold down your mouse, your right click, and then stretch it over the page 
and that'll give you a screenshot. So that is what I did um, to use this screenshot image that I'm going to show you right now. So that's how I got this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out and see how that fits on the page. And a lot of times with websites, there's the white space on either side. So that's okay to have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that it's centered. There you have it. That's pretty easy. I can see a little bit of this pink space on the bottom and I think I'd like to get rid of that and make it pretty clean. So I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and download this and I'm gonna put this on pause while I upload it back into our design area. Okay, we are all set. So I just wanna show you before what the screenshot looked like, how it would have fit on this screen. So you can see this was a screenshot that I used before I resized it and you can see how it just would not fit on the screen. It would have had the black space on either side. It just doesn't look good. So now you can see the benefit for actually going, taking the time to create that template to size it perfectly for the screen so that this will fit beautifully right into our mock-up image. And voila, that looks really great. I took the time in the background to just finesse it a little bit, but you get the hang of it. So you can do this with any of your images. Now you know basically the step-by-step -step process um, for really making sure that you take the template uh, for the size of the screen, size your photo that you wanna put in here, then load it in and overlay it onto your screen. And that will make your process a lot easier. And like I said, you can also double click and actually use this um, to crop your image. But I really like the idea of just designing it beforehand so it fits perfectly in your screen. And just so you know, you don't just need to add, for instance, your ebook or your product or your webpage. You can also add a photo. So here's the picture of me. <laughs> and I've already taken the time to resize this for the screen using the step-by-step -step process I already showed you. But you can use these to really showcase so many different things in so many different ways. So I just want to show you so that you have an idea. You can add anything in here. So even if you have, for instance, a beautiful skincare product, you could take a picture of that and showcase it in here. You could showcase um, your sales page. There's so much that you could do. So there is another... Um, another idea for you for what you can do here. Um, you can really just get creative. So um, if you want to go ahead and grab a mock-up image, you can head over to wellnessduckshop.com and you will find mock-up gallery and you can go ahead and dive in, choose your image and start having a lot of fun. These are just really a beautiful way to showcase anything that you really want to be showcasing and really get your brand out there in a creative and eye-catching way.